Today we're going to cover up or cover off variations on the jab. So let's just first of all let's get us started. So the jab is the most important punch in boxing. It dictates the pace of the fight, the range of the fight, and it's obviously the shot that 99.9% of boxers throw more than any other punch. So let's just have a look at it front on and side on and various angles. So what we're going to do first of all is in terms of our stance, we've already established our stance in class, so we should have all have a rough idea of that. So rear hand is just going to sit in front of your face, okay, with a south ball, it doesn't matter. Rear hand just in front, lead hand in front here, and we should cover off the jab on the spot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my hip to generate power. I'm going to turn the shot over and turn it over there. Okay, that's one angle, so I'm there. Again, I use my hip to generate, so the connect chain starts my back foot, and I use the hip to turn and throw there. Now you do have the option of turning your lead foot as well when you throw it, okay? There's some schools of thoughts that say yay or nay, regardless you can. When you're doing it on the spot, turn it there to generate that torque. Now, we teach beginners to turn their, to turn their foot when they throw their jab and hook on the spot, and obviously hook on the turn, to, so they can establish that rotational power, okay? That, that, that's what, where the power comes in terms of punches, from there, but one, also from here. But once you've obviously mastered that, you don't need to turn that lead foot. So, we're just gonna go here, so again, another angle. I turn the jab, I throw it there, and there. Better angle will be here. And if you notice, as I throw the jab, my shoulder I, comes up. Now what you need to do there is you need to turn over the punch. So you try and turn the top two knuckles there. In the act of turning those top two knuckles, your shoulder will come up. So again, it will come up here. And there I'm afforded protection. I'm protecting my jawline. I'm using my rear hand here. And my shoulder takes so the jaw, your on off button, is protected, okay? And that's jabbing on the spot. Some people, if you jab like so with your thumb down, which is, is fine, okay, it's another technique, you're not afforded that same protection. So what you might do is if you do that, and jab with your thumb and raise the ceiling, what would be advised to slip off you throw the shot. But that is another story altogether. So, we've established the jab on the spot. Now, let's see, you can do the jab, literally you can jab on the spot, which I call popping the jab, you're popping it, there's not much to tell. But then you can stab the jab as well. So I pop the jab and I stab the jab. Think of if you see any, any sort of kung fu or action movie, whatever, when you have someone trying to stab someone else, they stab the knife like so. It's the same as a thrust, and that's the same premise with the jab. Think of fencing. We're there, so we step and turn over. We step there. So we pop the jab, we stab the jab. We pop the jab, we stab the jab. We pop the jab, we stab the jab. Okay, two variations straight away. Now, what we can also do is we can use other feet. So, we use our lead foot, but look, I pop the jab, I stab the jab, okay? But I can also stab the jab to the side. So, I can also stab and step, use my lead foot to go sideways. So, I can stab, use my front foot there, but I can also stab using my lead foot to the left. So, let's have a look at three variations. Pop the jab, stab the jab front on, and stab sideways. Okay, have a look again. Pop, stab, stab. Pop, stab, stab. Okay, I can also stab my rear foot going backwards. So I can go here and stab and sit on my back foot as I jab. Give another angle. I can sit on my back foot and avoid some heavy artillery. And again, I can sit on my back foot there. So, let's have a look at the, the jabs we covered. I can pop the jab, I can stab front on. I can stab to my lead leg side, I'm an orthodox boxer, so it's my left, south balls would be to your right. I can sit back on my back foot there. I can also use my back foot to create another angle here and bring my head off the center line, okay? So, that's five basic jabs straight away. So let's have a look again. Pop the jab, stab. Stab to my lead side. Sit back on my back foot, stab my back foot, and jab towards my power, bringing my head offline. So, five variations of the jab. Now, 
With each of those jabs, we can step forwards if we want. So have a look. So, apart from the pop, the pop stays on the spot. So, I pop the jab, I stay on the spot. But now I can step forward, I stab, so I can step forward with the jab. That stab becomes a step. I can step backwards, that stab, I bring my lead foot with me, and now I've stepped back with the jab. I can step left to the jab, I can step right to the jab. So let's have a look at that again. So, from another angle, I pop the jab, all right? I step forwards with the jab. I step backwards with the jab. I step to the left with the jab. I step to the right with the jab. And another angle, okay? I pop the jab. I step forwards with the jab. I step backwards with the jab. I step left with the jab. I step right with the jab. So that's nine variations of the jab in a little over a couple of minutes, okay? Let's have a look at all of those, those nine variations. So, pop the jab on the spot. Stab the jab with my lead foot. Stab backwards with my rear foot. Stab to my lead side. Stab to my rear side. And, okay, I reset. Then I step forwards with my jab. I push backwards with my jab. I step to the left with my jab. I step to the right with my jab. If you notice, when I step through with those jabs, I recover my stance immediately. So when I go here, I step, I bring my rear foot with me. I go backwards, I step my backwards, I bring my lead foot with me. I step to the left, I bring my rear foot with me, re-establishing stance, and likewise, I step to my right, and I re-establish stance. When I jab to my rear side, the power, it's not a power shot, okay? but it's a distance builder. You still score with it, but it's not gonna do as much damage as it would on the lead side of pushing forwards, okay? Just in terms of generating power and torque, okay? So, we've uh, done nine variations of the jab. <laughs> we can make that into 14 variations of the jab by simply doubling up. So have a look. So, two jabs on the spot, okay? Have a look again. Jab, jab. Have a look again, jab, jab. All right, now I can step forwards and throw a double up, okay? So I can, oh, I can stab, sorry, I can stab the jab twice, so look. Stab, stab, okay? And go to the wrist, side. stab, stab, go backwards, stab, stab, okay, go left, stab, stab. You can just simply double up. But we can also step with those jabs. So if I go forwards, two steps, jab, jab, I go backwards. Jab, jab, pushing my front foot. You notice my feet travel with me, re-establishing my stance. I go left, one, one. I go right, one, one. So again, not a count them, but again, more variations of the jab. Now, we can also bounce in and out with the jab, okay? It's what we're taught. You'll see in classic amateur boxing, they're bouncing in and out, light on the feet, especially the lighter weights. Obviously, as they get to light heavyweight and even middleweight, they're not as light on their feet, they're not as quick, but what obviously the lighter base fighters, and even some of the heavyweights who are gifted, you'll see that classic amateur style. So we can double up on the jab just by bouncing in and out. So I'm bouncing in and out from the balls of my feet. Jab in, out, jab in. So jabbing in and out. And there, jabbing in and out. And there, jabbing in and out. Okay, so that's classic textbook amateur boxing where you bounce in and out with the shots. And you can add all manner of other shots on top of that, the cross, the hook, the uppercut, etc. etc. But what we can do with bouncing as well is we can mix in the step jabs and the stab jabs with bouncing in and out. Again, there's many ways different to skin a cat. There's no rules in boxing, contrary to popular belief. There's what's effective and what not. Okay? You give the most technically sound boxer in the world losing to a brawler because they were able to implement their game on the more technical boxer. Ultimately, it's about who can hit the other person more times and harder, okay, more damage. Now, moving back to what I was saying, we're bouncing in that mixing. So look, if I can go, I can go bounce in and out, and then I can push off, have a look again, another variation. So I bounce in and out with the jab, so I go in and back in, and then I can just push off, have a look again. So, Jab in and jab out, push off. Jab in and jab out, push off. I can also change direction there. Jab in, jab out, jab, jab to the side. Jab in, jab out, jab, jab to the other side. Okay, and I can also go 
jab in, jab out, and step. Pop, pop. And likewise, going backwards. Jab in, jab out, pop, pop. Okay, more variations on the jab. Let's look at bouncing in and out, okay, but bringing circular punches on that. So I'm gonna, I bounce in with the jab, I come out, and I bounce back in with the hook and come out. Here's another angle. In and out, and again, jab in and throw the hook, and again, in and throw the hook. Now, what you see is I chamber that hook. So, what I do, I jab in, and as I'm back bouncing out, I pull my left shoulder backwards and my right shoulder forwards there, and now I've loaded the hook, and I can go there. Here's another angle, jab in and the hook. Another angle, jab in, and hook. Angle here, jab in, and hook. Another angle here, jab in, and hook there. We can exchange that hook for an uppercut. Same premise of pulling my shoulders back and chambering the shot. And then obviously when you pull your shoulders back, you're loading your hips. Jab in, pull, and the uppercut. And again, hook, hook, and again, hook, hook. Change the angle. Some of the mistakes people make when throwing the jab is they turn their elbow and flip the jab. So we'll see, you know, we see some of these guys in the gym with the correct move, and they go, they throw the jab there, and they flick it out, and they bring their elbow. It's almost a, almost a backhand. But what they need to do is, when you have your elbow high, you want to turn through, and turn the top, top three knuckles, so top two knuckles, and have that rotation in your wrist and there, turn over there. As opposed to here, where you're almost, again, very backhand, you're gonna turn it through, okay, like so. Okay, so, what we, one common error again, is that instead of flicking there, you wanna drive through and turn it over here. Okay, another common mistake is when, when people throw the jab, is they jab, and they bring their hand low, jab, they bring their hand here. We see this every day in the gym. People need to correct all the time. What you need to do is jab and bring your lead hand back as a rule of thumb. Again, jab and bring it up here. Jab and bring it here. If you're gonna have a low lead hand and you're gonna drop it, you can move your head afterwards. So if you're gonna go boom and bring your hand down low, move your head. Okay, you've got to afford yourself some sort of protection if you're not gonna bring that hand up. 